If I was to start again from scratch with zero followers on Instagram, this is exactly what I would do in order to grow my account fast and with my perfect ideal followers. Now, if you are an ambitious business owner who would like to scale their business online so that you have more impact, income and freedom in your life, then make sure to hit the subscribe button right now. And if you are looking to grow specifically on Instagram, then go and follow me over there at the Leah Buckingham, where I share with you daily tips for success. Okay, so let's get straight to it. If I was to start again on Instagram with zero followers, the first thing I would do before I even start posting a single thing is to set my account up for success and make sure it is fully optimized. So what does this exactly mean? Well, Firstly, I would make sure I have a clear idea of my niche, so the type of content I'm going to be posting about. Now, you may have heard others in the online space say how you don't need to niche, but more often than not, these people already have a huge following. So yes, it works for them because they already have a big following that allows them to diversify. But if you are starting from scratch you need to be clear on who your content is calling out to and you need to work with the algorithm to show them this and i'll come more onto the algorithm in a bit but the key thing when starting out is to pick your niche so your content topics your content pillars that some people call it so let's say you are a fitness health coach coach specifically with women combined and um, coming up to the menopause you may decide your content pillars will be exercise routines that specifically help menopausal women. You might have healthy recipes that feed the body during this time. And maybe, you know, being a mum, juggling teenage children, empty nesting, you know, mixing home life and trying to run your own business. But you know, once I have a clear idea of my niche, I will make sure I stick to these topics and I won't deviate. The next thing to look at when setting up my Instagram account for success would be looking at my profile page and optimizing my bio and the name field. So you want to make sure all of this is set up for success from the start because, you know, once you start posting, um, people who come there you to your profile you want them to look at your profile and know straight away it's where they belong and where they want to hang out so that they will hit the follow button so looking at the first thing i would choose a clear profile picture so one that is relevant to my industry and make sure there's not too much going on in the picture especially the background so for me I'm an online business coach, so it makes sense for it to be a headshot of myself showing some personality with a solid, clear background. So moving on to your handle and your name field, the words you use in these and in your bio are searchable. So I will want to make sure they all make sense, that they all relate and have some keywords here. So what I mean by keywords is words that people are searching for, because if they're searching for these topics and keywords in Instagram and searching for these types of accounts, there's a higher chance I will be shown up in search. Plus, if people are regularly engaging with content relating to these keywords, my account and content may get suggested to these people as well because it helps my account to be categorized. So, your name field is the name under your profile picture and you can currently have up to 64 characters here. So rather than just my name, I would add words relevant to my industry and my niche. And you can see in my current profile, I have my name and then online business coach, social media, growth and mindset, because all of these keywords is what my content is about. In my bio, if I was starting from scratch, again, I would add some keywords here too, but I would also make sure it's clear about who I am, what I do, how I do it, and why someone should follow me. At the end of the day, I am starting with zero followers here. So my main aim at the beginning is to grow that number. And I don't want to waste the opportunity of anyone coming to me, coming to my profile page and not hitting the follow button. So therefore, I would make sure my bio is all about them and what they will benefit from hitting that follow button. I would also make sure I use a clear call to action in the bio, encouraging them to hit that follow button, yes, but also to click on the link in my bio, especially if there is something enticing there for them, such as a lead magnet, so a free resource in exchange for their email address to then be added to my mailing list. 
Now, those of you who know me know I am a huge advocate of growing your own email list rather than relying on the social media platforms alone. Because with an email list, you own that list. You know, you could wake up tomorrow morning and God forbid your Instagram account has been deleted or you've been hacked and you can no longer reach out to all of your followers. I mean, that'd be absolutely awful, but if you have your own mailing list, you can reach out to them there. And in fact, your emails is the main place to nurture your relationships, and it's one of the main places you will make your sales. So, if I was starting from zero followers on Instagram, I would make sure my account is fully optimized, and I would make sure I have a call to action getting any new followers over to my mailing list so I can grow my audience there at the same time as well. Okay, so moving on. After I've got clear on my niche and set up my account for success, I would then really drill down on who my ideal target audience is. And the reason I want to get really specific and make sure you don't miss this step is because once I have a really clear idea on who my ideal target person is, I can then go on to create really specific content that is calling out to them. So who do I want my content to reach? What's their age, gender, hobbies, interests, etc. But also, what are their thoughts right now? What problems are they struggling with? What do they lie awake at night worrying about? And then I want to flip it. So what can I help my ideal target audience with? What solutions do I offer? How will they feel once they have gone through the transformations that I can offer them? And how will life be for them after they have worked with me? Do they know my products or services actually even exist? Not only will these questions help you in defining who your ideal person is, but it will help you to think about the types of conversations through your content you are going to want to have moving forward. So, Once I have all of these things clear, so not before because it's really important to get all these things clear and organized, if I was starting from scratch on Instagram with zero followers, I would then go on to my content. So after this, and I will then be, you know, I'll be honest here, I would actually plan my strategy to be posting at least once a day with a heavy focus on posting reels. So one of those posts every day will be a reel video. Now, again, I know many of you will have heard others in the online space saying how you do not need to be posting daily or multiple times a day to grow. And again, I would argue that a lot of those people who are saying this are people who who already have a large following. They have grown their accounts to a significant amount and have loyal, engaged, followers so if they do post less they still grow because they have a lot of engagement already and many of them are doing lots of other activities on social other social media platforms you know they're running webinars lead magnets ads even so their audiences are growing without even doing anything now I'm not saying you can't grow organically by posting less on Instagram But if I was starting from zero followers on Instagram, this is what I'd do. So like I said at the start of the video, my initial aim would be to increase those followers as quickly as possible. And the quickest way to do that organically would be by having a frequent and consistent posting schedule. So I would commit to posting at least once a day and I would focus on posting more reels over the other types of content. We all know reels are still being pushed massively by the algorithm to a cold audience. So that means people who do not currently follow you so that is exactly why I'd be posting more reels than anything else because that way my content will be getting in front of people who don't know me which in turn will get more eyes on my content my profile and then it will turn them into followers or some of them into followers you know it's a simple mathematical equation the more you post the more you will grow and quicker because more people will be seeing your content Well, that's as long as you are following everything in this video and you are posting quality content because if you have no strategy and your content is poor quality, you won't grow. Because, you know, well, that's another video right there. So I'll move on for now. Okay, so I have said I will heavily focus on posting reels, but I'm not saying I won't post other types of content because yes, I would. Carousel posts, static images, memes, inspirational quotes, story posts will all be part of my strategy. But the strategy with these will be to nurture my current followers and to build trust with them because these types of content typically go out to my current followers rather than you know, a a real cold audience like with reels. And my story posts and the DMs is where I'm going to focus on eventually turning my current followers into buying customers. However, to begin with, 
we want to grow a following and nurture it because if we just cold sell off the bat then we will damage the good work we have done so far and you know could potentially lose some of those followers too so when it comes to what my content will actually consist of i will do my research to find out what is current at the moment in my niche so i will do thorough research looking at other competitors to see what types of topics and content of theirs that is getting the most engagement i will look at other platforms so TikTok, youtube pinterest for example and use their search by putting in relevant search terms to see what conversations are currently going on over there in my niche so again if i was a health coach i may put in the search healthy vegan recipes and the search will populate other relevant search terms and topics that people are looking for within that and i will collate all of this information together so i can then find out what my ideal audience actually wants from me and what they are actually engaging with at the moment this will make it so much easier when starting out from scratch to help me come up with and actually create content that will get me in front of my ideal audience's eyes and jump out to them to grab their attention because I already know this type of content is currently working from my research. And like I said earlier, I would have a posting schedule of at least once a day with a focus on one reel a day and what I will do to ensure I keep on track with this and not lead myself into overwhelm and burnout would be to batch create my content. Now, I am not one to heavily batch create because I like to see what's current and to be honest, I actually get distracted batch creating too much in one go. If you're happy to batch create 14 days worth of content or more, then great do it but I am much more creative in my own way batching say a week's worth of content at a time so I will spend a period of my time every week where I will batch create seven days worth of content and this is exactly what I will do if I was starting from scratch as well because it gives me that breathing space I need so it won't lead me to panic if I haven't posted or have no clue what to post on any given day plus by batch creating seven days of content it leaves me the time I need to then engage on the platform and get involved with sharing content over on my stories too okay so this next part that I'm going to share with you is so important so if I was going to start from scratch with zero followers on Instagram I would get very strategic with the keywords I use in my content and my keywords and hashtags in my captions so let's break this down Instagram has become much more of a search engine today. So in the past, the only way you could search on Instagram was through hashtags and your content may have come up on the explore page if it ranked for that hashtag that you used. Today, it's not only hashtags in search, but your keywords play a really significant role. So you could, for example, have a post come up in search on the explore page that you didn't even use any hashtags in it. You know, it's found there because of the keywords. So it's changed the playing field completely. And as we know, the algorithm is consistently shifting and it is highly sophisticated and it can pick up keywords, you know, not only in your captions, but words in your videos. So that's spoken words as well as text that you add to the videos. Um, it can pick it up in your cover photos too. So the titles you add to your cover photos. So, you know, if I was starting from scratch with zero followers on Instagram I would get very intentional with the keywords I use and I would make sure I add them to my videos so that includes in my speech as well as the text added to the video like I said in my cover photos the text in the images of any of my posts as well as in my captions to help the algorithm to categorize my content and to increase the chances of my content coming up in search and being suggested so just as a side tip here though if you're struggling with what keywords to use then simply start by thinking what people would put into google if they were trying to find you your products or your services even go to google and put in some keywords and you'll see google will give you a drop down of other similar keywords that people are searching for so make a note of these and you could also go to YouTube and do exactly the same in the search there once you have a list you could then search for them in Instagram and take a look at the top performing posts for those keywords um, what keywords and hashtags are those posts actually using in addition in their captions and their content make a note of these as well and remember to experiment with them to see what works best 
If you go into Instagram search and you put in some relevant keywords, such as healthy vegan recipes, for example, you will see it populates other searches using similar keywords. And if you go to TikTok, for example, and do exactly the same thing here in the search, it will show you the top performing videos. But if you scroll down, it will also show you here what other people are searching for that's related or relevant to those keywords. So you get even more relevant keywords that people are searching for that you can use. Okay, so using relevant keywords is not just for your content to potentially get found in search. It also helps the algorithm in categorizing your content and this works alongside the hashtags you use. So if you're being consistent with your niche and content topics that I talked about at the beginning of this video, then using keywords and hashtags that relate to your content and niche helps the algorithm to categorize your content and your account. So the algorithm will know what you're all about and therefore will know who is best to show your account and content to as suggested and recommended content, which in turn should result in more new followers. Now, if I was starting from zero followers on Instagram, the hashtags I would use would be very specific, very niche down and smaller hashtags initially that describe my content if I barely have any followers, it would be very silly of me to be using highly populated hashtags of 1 million plus, for example, because my account will not be able to compete with those larger accounts who are using those hashtags. So I am just wasting time. But if I use much smaller niche hashtags, it will not only help the algorithm to get more specific with what my content is about, but I will have a great, much greater chances of appearing in Explore under those smaller hashtags. But it's important to remember hashtags are to describe your content and to get it categorized. Don't use them as a growth strategy because that is not what they are for and you'll be pulling your hair out for little results if you do. And taking this even further, if I was starting from scratch on Instagram with zero followers, I would have a specific engagement strategy to get my content in front of as many people as possible and the right type of people. So first off, I will make sure I engage with similar accounts to mine in my industry. So again, I'm training the algorithm to know who I want to attract, but I will also engage with those accounts who comment and engage on others within my niche. And the reason I am doing this is because they are already engaged, invested and interested with those accounts who are similar to mine. So they are obviously interested in that niche. So if I engage with their content, they are more likely to engage back with mine and potentially follow so we can form a relationship. But again, the algorithm wants to keep people on the platform. So it wants to show people content that they think they will enjoy and they determine this on their activity on the platform, such as the types of content that people engage with and the content that they create and so forth. And when I post my content, I will ask, I will make sure I am engaging on the platform 10 minutes before and after that post goes out. So Instagram is a very social platform. So if you're wanting to grow, you can't expect to grow if you are just posting and ghosting. So now, just like your posting schedule, the more you engage on the platform, the more you will get back. But I know being on the platform all day, every day is just not realistic for everyone. So commit to what you can and if, I was starting from zero, I would do at least 30 minutes per day. And right now, if you spend time engaging just before or just after, like I said, 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after, the algorithm boosts your content a little bit further so you get more reach. This tactic might not always work in the future, but it's definitely one that is working right now. So if, you, if I was starting from scratch with zero followers on Instagram, I would definitely be doing this. So if I'm engaging with accounts of people who are already interested in the type of content I offer, then it's helping to train the algorithm again on who I am, what I am about, and the types of people I engage with and vice versa, and who to show my content to. And then finally, if I was starting from scratch with zero followers on Instagram, once I had started posting and seeing results, I would look at my analytics and analyze what is working for my account and what is not working. I would then double down on what is currently working and giving me results and create more content like that to get double the results. The types of content that is not working, I would try to work out why and experiment with it. 
is it you know is it the way I've delivered that piece of content maybe and if so I would try to deliver it in a different way to see if it improves or maybe my audience is just not interested in that particular content topic and you know if that is the case then I'll no longer post about it but always remember Instagram is ever-changing and your audience interests are too so don't be afraid to experiment and mix things up every once in a while to keep your content fresh and to keep your audience engaged. Plus, depending on your niche, there will be certain types of content that work better than others. So don't assume it's a one fit for all accounts. Now, if you've made it this far and you would like to know what types of reels you should be posting for explosive growth, then go ahead and watch this video next. I'll also leave a description in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell to get notified every time I post a video. And please let me know in the comments if you have found this video useful. And also let me know what else you need help with when it comes to your social media marketing.